गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू कॉलिगेटिव प्रॉपर्टीज व्हाट आर दिस कॉलिगेटिव प्रॉपर्टीज कॉलिगेटिव प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ एन आइडल सोल्यूशन आर दोज प्रॉपर्टीज व्हिच डिपेंड्स ओनली ऑन द नंबर ऑफ सोल्यूट पार्टिकल नेचर इंडिपेंडेंस सो दीज आर बेसिकली द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ आइडल सोल्यूशन व्हिच ओबे रोल्स लॉ नाउ there are basically four colligative properties first relative loading and vapor pressure the second colligative property is elevation and boiling point third depression and freezing point and the fourth is osmotic pressure first let us write the definition of colligative properties in a prescribed form so colligative properties depend only on number of solute particles and nature independent they do not depend upon nature of the solute particles so these are the colligative properties there are four colligative properties that we have in our syllabus let us discuss those colligative properties one by one the first colligative property is relative lowering in vapor pressure so first colligative property relative lowering in vapor pressure we know according to the rolls law for a solution containing volatile solute as well as the volatile solvent the vapor pressure of the solution is ps equal to pa plus pb this is the partial pressure of solute solvent and this is the partial pressure of the solute again we also know pa is equal to pa not Let's say that is P A naught is the vapor pressure of the pure solvent, and X A be the mole fraction of the solvent. Similarly, P B is equal to P B naught X B. Therefore, P S is equal to P A naught X A plus P B naught X B. what happens when a non volatile solute is added to the pure solvent we know that when a non volatile solute is added to the pure solvent or volatile solvent the vapor pressure decreases because the non volatile solute does not have vapor pressure in its purest form so when a non volatile solute is added to the pure solvent the concept the equation 1 which we have written here it changes ps will be pa not x a as pb not is zero why because solute is non volatile means it do not have a vapor pressure so the vapor pressure of a non volatile solute is zero therefore the equation becomes ps equal to pa not x a where x a is the mole fraction of the pure solvent as we know x a plus x b is always one this is the concept that we have taken from the mole concept so mole fraction of component a plus mole fraction of the component b is always one for a binary solution binary solution means which have one solute and only one solvent now from here we calculate the value of x a so x a equal to 1 minus x b now substitute this value in equation 2 put in 
equation 2. When we substitute the value of x a in equation 2, this equation 2 becomes P s equal to P a naught 1 minus x b. Keep in mind x b is the mole fraction of a non-volatile solute. So we have started from P s, P s equal to P a plus P b that is according to the Rolle's law for a volatile component. Now when we substituted the value of P a that is P a naught x a and P b, P b naught x b. Since this solute is non-volatile it means P b naught equal to 0. Now move towards equation number 1 it changes to P a naught x a. We know x a plus x b is always 1 that is mole fraction is always 1. So x a equal to 1 minus x b we substituted the value of x a in equation number 2. Now further P s equal to now open this bracket multiply with this and multiply with this it is equal to P a naught minus P a naught x b so P a naught minus P s equal to P a naught x b from here we can easily calculate the value of x b so x b is equal to bring it down P a naught minus P s upon P a naught this one P a naught minus P s is called lowering in vapor pressure keep in mind lowering in vapor pressure is not a colligative property the colligative property is the whole this one and P a naught minus P s upon P a naught is called relative lowering in vapor pressure. Keep in mind that P a naught minus P s upon P a naught it is a colligative property. This is a colligative property but not this one P a naught minus P s. Now next topic next if we want to calculate the molar mass of a non volatile solute how we calculate the molar mass of a non volatile solute now we know that let, let us think this equation number 3 as x b is equal to P a naught minus P s upon P a naught we know x b that is one fraction of a volatile of non volatile solute so x b is equal to number of moles of component b divided by total number of moles as number of moles of b are less and less than number of moles of component a therefore number of moles of a plus number of moles of b are approximately equal to number of moles of component A. Now substitute this value in equation number 4. We get P a naught minus P s upon P a naught equal to N B upon N A. N B number of moles of non-volatile solute and a number of moles of pure component. So now we use the formula of mole number of moles WB upon MB into WA into MA. This is equal to P A naught minus P S upon P A naught. This is the final formula. From here we can easily calculate number, we can easily calculate the molar mass of molar mass 
of a non volatile solvent now the question comes in mind why pno minus ps upon pno is called a colligative property the reason is being if we see this equation here pno minus ps upon pno equal to nb upon na it depends only on number of moles it means number of particles hence it is a colligative property so pno minus ps upon pno equal to nb upon na that means it depends upon number of moles hence a colligative property so this is the way how we can easily calculate the molar mass of a non volatile solute by applying the formula wb upon mb into ma upon wa equal to pn0 minus ps upon tn0 keep in mind pn0 is the vapor pressure of the pure solvent ps vapor pressure of the solution again pn0 vapor pressure of the pure volatile component by applying this formula we can easily calculate molar mass of unknown non volatile solute so by using this formula the molar mass of a non volatile solute can be easily calculated so this is the first colligative property which we have done is a relative lowering in vapor pressure now let us move towards second colligative property today we will discuss only two colligative properties and you are advised to do the numericals based on these two we will discuss the numericals tomorrow so let us move towards the second colligative property the second colligative property which we are going to discuss today is elevation in boiling point before doing the elevation in boiling point we must know what is a boiling point a boiling point is a temperature at which the vapor pressure of a solution of vapor pressure of a liquid becomes equal to atmospheric pressure vapor pressure again it depends upon the boiling point if a solution has higher boiling point it means it has a lower vapor pressure it has to be heated at higher temperature to make its vapor pressure equal to atmospheric pressure so the second colligative property we are going to discuss is elevation in boiling point as from the name it is quite clear elevation elevation means increase it means when a non volatile solute is added to the pure solvent the vapor pressure of the solution decreases hence to make the vapor pressure equal to the atmospheric pressure the solution has to be heated at higher temperature let us discuss this by drawing a graph this is a simple graph between vapor pressure of a solution versus temperature it has been found that for a pure solvent the vapor pressure is high this is for pure solvent but when a non volatile solute is added surface area decreases hence vapor pressure decreases to make the vapor pressure equal to the atmospheric pressure the solution has to be heated at high temperature so we draw here a perpendicular this one is written as tv tv represent vapor uh, that is boiling point 
this is TB. TB is called boiling point of solution. Whereas here we draw another line, we write it TB naught. This one is boiling point of pure solvent. And here we have a gap. This is called delta TB. So delta TB is called elevation in boiling point means increase in boiling point initially for the pure solvent boiling point is low when non volatile solute is added the boiling point increases the difference in these two is called elevation in boiling point experimentally it has been found that increase in boiling point that is delta TB which can also be written as TB minus TB node is directly proportional to M. M means molality. So delta TB is equal to KB into M where KB is called abrioscopic constant. So KB is known as abuscopic constant. Abuscopic constant is in equal to elevation in boiling point if the molality of the solution is taken as unity. It means delta TB is equal to KB if molality of the solution is 1 or we call it unity. So, delta TB is equal to KB into M, KB abuscopic constant. So, now let us check, let us find how to calculate the molar mass of a non-volatile solute. Now, since delta TB is equal to KB, into M. We know the formula of molality. Number of moles of solute per 1000 gram of the solvent. So we use the formula Kb into Wb upon Mb into Wa into 1000. This is delta Pb. Delta TB elevation in boiling point is equal to KB abloscopic constant into WB mass of the non volatile solute which is added to the pure solvent as a result of which the boiling point of the solution decreases. 1000 divided by MB, MB is molar mass of the non volatile solute. So the molar mass of a non volatile solute MB can be easily calculated by applying the formula delta TB is in denominator into WA. This is the formula which we can directly apply to calculate MB, molar mass of a non volatile solute. So, this is the second colligative property. The second colligative property which we have just done is elevation in boiling point. Again I am writing the formula for the molar mass Mb equal to Kb into Wb into 1000 divided by delta Tb into Wa and also we have to keep in mind sometimes they ask or they ask write the formula of Kb. Sometimes we write the formula of Kb. Kb is called abuscopic constant. It can also be calculated by applying the formula NAR Tb naught square divided by delta H vaporization into 1000. This is the formula how to calculate Kb. Kb abuscopic constant. 
So these are the two colligative properties that we were decided to do today. So next two colligative property we will do tomorrow. So you all are advised to just go through these colligative properties, just go through these two colligative properties and if you find any kind of difficulty, you can contact us. Thank you.